Well, hello and welcome to the Spider Web Training Method. In this video, we're going to cover all of the things that you need to do with a specific tool to have healthy, strong, and flexible shoulders. Here's the intro. Having a strong rack position, elbow close to your body, shoulder down, having a 90 degree angle between your arm and your forearm, elbow close all the way tuck, not far away, close, making your arm a part of your body, grabbing your steel club, placing your hand on top of the knob, without squeezing the handle, simply closing firmly, elbow close, shoulder down, having a 90 degree angle between the steel club and your forearm and between your arm and your forearm. Chest up, good posture, core engage, glutes engage, free arm not close to your body, open. This is a good rack position. Once you're here, without losing those angles, start to open up your arm, trying to keep your elbow as close to your body as possible. Return to the initial position. This is the first step. Once you have this nice position, you're gonna start engaging your glutes. So you're gonna notice that your whole body is gonna turn, not your arm without separating your elbow, moving your hips and therefore your whole body, keeping your legs extended, activating glutes and turning into one side and the other. 10 o'clock, two o'clock, fixating on those numbers shoulder down, always working from your hips without losing alignment. Once you're here, opening up and start bringing your arm behind your head without losing your 90 degrees, always returning to that side strong position. to the channel we are 51 subscribers already so please if you're enjoying the video so far give me a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and click the little bell so you get all the latest updates and notifications now keep watching the video shoulder down opening up your arm bringing it behind your head and now connecting the elbow with your opposite hip bringing the steel club in front of your body with a nice alignment. There are two lines that are important. 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. In those lines are the lines that you're going to work, making the whole movement 10 o'clock in this case. Right position, open up your arm, bringing it behind your head and lowering in front of your body. Think of this as an attacking motion. There are two ways of doing it. First, fixating your hips or start the movement from your hips with a slight more rotation, engaging your whole body without losing those angles, always 90 degrees between your arm and your forearm. Once we're here, all the movements that we cover so far with your hips fixed or moving your hips, engaging your whole body a little bit more, rotating a little bit more. The two ways are okay. Now, starting rotating towards the other side, placing the steel club parallel to the ground, bringing your fist up without losing those 90 degrees, going into the back of your head but starting on the opposite direction and finishing the movement on the side of your body. Notice how the positions that we've been covering are exactly the same ones, but now you're doing them in the opposite direction. 
from the rack position, bringing your fist up, shoulder down, behind your head, and you finish on the side position. You can do this with your hips fixed or moving your hips slightly more, rotating your body a little bit more. Think of this as a defensive move, as if you're blocking a strike with the steel club. Notice how the shoulders down, 90 degrees on your arm and forearm. Hips control the movement. 10 and 2. Once you master the movements by themselves, you can start connecting the dots, attacking and defending, moving from the side to the back of your head and across your body, doing it with both sides. Try to keep your good technique, your solid angles, moving your hips and rotating your body or doing it with your hips fixed, asking to your shoulder a bit more mobility. Scapulas down, 90 degrees, arms and forearms. Try these movements with low weight or with a heavier weight with both hands. Same angles, same movements, strengthening your shoulder girdle, having strong, flexible and resilient shoulders. Use the steel club to become powerful and mighty. Hope you enjoyed it. Steel clubs are a great tool to help your shoulders to become more stable, to have more mobility and to prevent issues like frozen shoulder, shoulder dislocation, to have bad posture even. So start working with them. If you have any questions, the comment section below is open. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and if you enjoyed, stay tuned for all the updates of the spider web training method. See you next time. Thank you.